Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Shani. Not the light going down right when I start to film. <laughs> oh, hi, you guys. Really? Wow, that that's actually crazy. Cause it took me like an hour to set up. And right when I like press record and I'm just like, you know what, I don't care. Okay, it's coming back. Clearly, this video is just on the whim type of thing. But I did have an idea where I wanted to do my no makeup makeup look. It's kind of like I woke up like this and makeup look. I didn't do it on Instagram, but I posted a picture on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Because a lot of you guys be telling me that y'all miss me. And um, where have I been? Y'all, I have been active on all of other social medias i mean not really tiktok i mean i have a tiktok but i haven't really been active on tiktok but i've been super active on my instagrams since the last time y'all have seen me i think i've launched three new instagrams let's catch up real quick so i have a fitness instagram where i'm documenting my fitness journey i'm back on my fitness journey yay because I was on struggle bus for about two years, okay? Um, so yeah, I'm documenting my fitness journey on Fit Shani. And I literally post on there like every day. And then I have shots by Shani that came along from doing shoots for my makeup clients. I'm not like a, a, a knowledgeable photographer, but I know how to take a picture. And sometimes when I have clients, they want their picture taken. So that's kind of how that came about. So it's kind of like looped in with a makeup session. So that's how Shots by Shani came along and that's where I put all of my photography. And then I have my makeup by Shani, which is where I put all of my clients. And then I have um, just my regular account, which is being Shani, which majority of you follow. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me, <laughs> okay? You don't have to follow each and every account. I've been trying to post more on being Shani, my regular Instagram, and like I said, I'm documenting my fitness journey, so I'm basically posting every single day. If I'm not on YouTube, I'm posting somewhere else or I'm doing something creative. I'm not just off the map or off the grid altogether. So if you wanna keep up with me for real, for real, follow me on Instagram. I'll link everything down below, okay? okay. And I'll put a link so you can just click on it and follow me. Not the little app name. Because sometimes I don't be wanting to type in the app name. Just give me a link so I can click on it and follow you. <laughs> Alright, now that we have that quick update out of the way, we're going to go ahead and get into some makeup. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys what I've been doing because I have been off of YouTube for a minute. Okay? I do want to do an actual chit chat get ready with me. And I'm probably going to make that the makeup look that I wore for my birthday. Real soft, glam type of thing. That's probably what I'm going to do. Do like a life update video. Well, not a life update video, but like a chit chat get ready with me life update. You know, you know, just talk and chit chat with y'all. So if y'all have questions, leave them in the comment section. And we'll just chat in my next chit chat get ready with me. Okay? Okay, enough of the talking. Let's get into some makeup. I'm gonna be showing you guys my natural everyday makeup look. I woke up like this makeup look, you know what I'm saying? I posted a picture on Instagram of me barely wearing any makeup and you guys loved it. Like I, I got a lot of love on Instagram. Not these lights blinding me though. And this was in October. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm terrible. Okay, yeah, this was in October, but since I don't post a lot of pictures with minimal makeup, I didn't think it was gonna get a lot of likes. Anyways, you guys loved it, so I was like, hmm, let's make a video on it. So, here we are. So, I hope you guys like this video. Let's go ahead and get into the makeup look, because I've been talking a lot, okay? Brows, because what's gonna change? I always start with my brows. Where's my brow stuff at? Right here. So lately I've just been not doing makeup because I've been in the house and I know stuff is starting to open back up but to be honest I'm probably still going to be in the house. <laughs> Where is my brow? Oh here it is. The way people are handling everything that's going on is not really sitting right with me but you know I'm going to keep taking my vitamins and taking care of me and mine over here and um, yeah y'all can go outside if y'all want to. <laughs> 
That's how I feel. Oh no, not hair. All right, so we're gonna do just a little bit to the brows. Should I pull you guys in a little bit more? I'm using the Benefit Cabal in 4.5. Hopefully it's focusing because I don't have a viewfinder. I tried to do it on my phone and it just kept cutting off every time I switched apps. So I was like, okay, no viewfinder today. So this is kind of like old school, how I used to film my videos. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna flick some brow hairs up in the front. Just a little bit, I don't wanna do too much to the brows. Did I bring a primer over here? All right, so those are the brows. I'll just use Fenty primer sitting right here beside me. So this is the soft matte primer from Fenty. It's just I'm extra shiny right now. I'm just gonna rub that all over. That's all I'm really prepping my skin with. Okay, I'll move you guys in just a tab. So the brows are done. And I thought the Fenty was giving me a cast on my face, but I guess it's these lights that's kind of like confusing everything for me. Oh, by the way, I got new lights. I got a new tripod. I still have the, the ADD that I just switched to. I'm trying to upgrade my channel. I'm trying to, hopefully I have my intro. No, I don't think I'm gonna have we're getting a new intro and a new banner. I'm just trying to up my channel quality and up up everything because it's time. It's been time for me to upgrade all of my equipment because everything just started breaking out of nowhere. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with concealer and this is the Fenty Concealer in 445. And I like to take this right here and kind of color correct. I'll just let it sit there. And then I do this little flick because I feel like it just lifts my eye. So. That's how we're going to brighten up the under eyes at first. And then I'm going to take my match, not matchstick, this foundation stick from, well, I don't know why I forgot the name of this brand. It's in the color Beaning, Beaning, I think. <laughs> if I'm pronouncing that wrong, oh my bad. Why can I not think of the name of this brand? Okay, whatever, I really can't. Remember the name of the brand right now. And the name rubbed off the packaging, so I can't even. I, I'll, I'll link everything down below. So I'm just pressing in the foundation stick around my lip. And I'm just gonna go ahead and glue in this area out. Now when it comes to this look, I'm really, I really just be trying to do the bare minimum. All right, so I'm taking this ColourPop brush it's the E2 brush, and I really like this for blending out concealer. It's really soft, and I can work quick with it, so. This is what I'm usually using, and I'll go back and forth with the sponge. And I'll just keep blending the Fenty concealer into the skin. So we have the color Beaming on around the lips and then we have Fenty Concealer 445 and then I'm taking Katsina. Girl. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put this on like the darker areas of my face. And then I'm just gonna use the Beauty blender to blend everything in and you want to make sure you blend everything in because when it comes to foundation sticks if you don't blend it in there will be that spot 
on your face. It's not going to go anywhere. You might not be able to see it in person, but if you take a picture, you're going to be able to see where you didn't blend your makeup. So, I just like to make sure everything is blended, okay? All right, so the next thing I've taken is this Infallible Pro Glow Concealer in probably cocoa because everything I buy from the drugstore is always in cocoa. What's the color? Cocoa. <laughs> what did I just tell y'all? All right, so this is the concealer that I'm using. And I like this concealer because for one, it's really glowy and it's more on the yellow side. So I like it for brightening up the under eye. I'm gonna let that dry down a little bit. Now I'm taking Benin. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I'm gonna take this up under the cheekbone and just bring back out my cheekbone. And everything just blends together so nicely. I'm gonna do the nose. I don't want to blend this out. I'm going back in with the sponge just to make sure everything is blended evenly. Now I'm just going to take the excess onto my lid just to brighten up my lid a little bit. And I mainly just press it in the inner part of my eye because when when I put concealer on my eyelids, I don't like how small, I, I know my eyes are small, but I don't really like how small it makes my eye look. And then I don't want it to have that concealer look like I have a whole bunch of concealer over my eyelid. I like the look when it comes to certain things, but when it comes to this look, I don't want it to look like I have a whole bunch of concealer on my eyelids if that makes sense i want everything to look really natural and skin like now i'm going to take my sasha buttercup setting powder yes i still use this and before i go in and set my under eyes i'm just patting out the concealer to make sure there's no creases at all under my eyes and i'm just going to take it in the areas where i don't want it to crease which is like right up under the eye and then i'm also going to take it right here in this area because this area stays greasy and then I'm also going to press some <clears throat> on my eyelids but not a lot not a lot not a lot sometimes I don't even put anything on my eyelids because sometimes it just be a little much for me okay I'm just trying to press the powder in before I move on to the next step. All right, so now I'm gonna take cocoa from Too Faced. Excuse how my powder looks. I've been dipping my sponge in it. All right, so I'm just gonna take this and press it all over just to lock in everything else now I'm taking toffee teas from Fenty to contour me it's a it's a cream bronzer but I contour with it because it's darker so I'm just taking it right here now when it comes to contouring your face it really depends on your personal preference and what you want your face to look like if you want your face to look more sculpted and you want your cheekbones to appear higher you want to start 
higher with your contour which means you don't need to go inside of your cheekbone you need to go above your cheekbone and place it there you don't want to take it too low because then it's going to look a little bit muddy mine does kind of look muddy but it comes together at the end and i have this little patch on my face that i'm staring at and i'm just like why didn't i go over the patch but just bear with me <laughs> and now i'm just taking the Too faced powder and bronzing not bronzing but setting my cream contour okay so after that i'm gonna take this mac highlighter and just highlight my cheekbones and then i'm also going to take this um covergirl highlighter in rose quartz and i actually dropped it and it shattered and broke so there's really nothing in here but leftover powder but it it still has something in it. I'm not throwing it away. I honestly need to go buy it back because this is such a pretty highlighter. It looks like skin and it just gives me everything that I need. All right, so now that the face is pretty much done, I'm gonna go ham with mascara. The first mascara I'm gonna use is the Fenty Full Frontal Black Mascara. Now when it comes to like mascara, um, I don't know, I have a love dislike relationship with mascara because sometimes I feel like it looks too hard and then sometimes I feel like it really don't be doing nothing. But then again, there's a specific way I like my natural lashes to look. Oh, I'm sorry, was I covering you on my bed? Um, there's a specific way I like my lashes to look. I like them to be thicker on like the outer corner, but still visible in the inner corner. But I like the majority of the volume to be out here. So I like to wiggle, pull out, wiggle, pull out, wiggle, wiggle up, and pull out to like a slant, if that makes sense. So that it elongates my eye without putting liner on and then the way my lashes or eyelids are set up i always get mascara on my eyelid but i don't really care it honestly helps my eyelashes look thicker so i just leave it there sometimes i'll go in and like smudge it out to make it an actual blown out eyeliner the majority of the time i just let it sit there that's kind of like the first 10 coats of mascara and we're getting somewhere <laughs> okay and then i go in with this better than sex mascara and put it towards the end and it starts to create some lashes that i don't have I literally just keep layering on mascara and then I'll go back and kind of separate because it does start to clump up at this point and I don't like little balls being on the end of my lashes that's, that's not cute for my front lashes the ones that you can't really see I like to go upward with the mascara and it kind of like grabs them and pulls them up and then coats them just enough for them to be visible but I like to keep the mascara light up here because I just don't like the look of, I don't know. Like I said, I'm real picky when it comes to, not picky, but like particular when it comes to mascara in general. And then I don't like mascara on my bottom lashes. So I basically just leave it like this and then I'll probably keep going in and putting on a whole bunch of mascara. Um, so yeah. Now I'm going to take the spoolie and get the little balls off because I don't like that. Alright, now for lips, I'm going to put on Abu Dhabi. <laughs> and is this one? This one is Cookies and Cocoa from Fenty, but it's literally the color of my bottom lip it just isn't as red 
as my bottom lip, if that makes sense. So, that's on there. But, y'all know Abu Dhabi is, like, my all-time fave. So, I just like to take that on my lip and then kind of dab it off, if that makes sense. Alright, and then I'm going to take this brush the m152 from morphe i'm gonna take my toffee bronzer rude <laughs> i'm gonna take my toffee bronzer and line my lip just a tad How could I almost forget blush? Where is my blush? Blush, blush, blush. All right, so I'm taking Rose Latte from Fenty and I'm taking the Fenty bronzer brush and I'm just tapping it on the cheeks. Now, this isn't a mask proof look. Um, maybe if you spray some Final Seal on it or some Urban Decay D-Slick setting spray on it, you might be okay. But if you do it how I do it, it's going to rub off a little bit with the mask. So just warning you guys. <laughs> All right, so this look is giving what it's supposed to be giving. And I just watched some of my footage back and y'all can definitely hear the kids outside playing on the park so i apologize and it's quite a few of them out there so i apologize for the noise okay curl Now that I know y'all can hear them, I'm a little irritated because like, why? <laughs> I think I want to try some um, silk rollers because, or satin rollers, whatever you call those, because I feel like the foam rollers kind of make my hair staticky and frizzy and I don't like that. Okay. I don't like that. But the hair is giving what it's supposed to be giving, too. <laughs> I'm not going to, like, mess with it because it's, it's going to drop by itself. So I'm just going to let the hair do what the hair wants to do. Am I feeling this? I really haven't been feeling the side part. I don't know why. Or maybe the middle part. Ooh. Maybe the middle part. Look at me touching my hair after I just told y'all I'm not going to touch the curls. They're going to drop themselves. Maybe it's the shirt that's throwing me off because I usually don't really be doing color like that. Let me go look in the mirror real quick in my bathroom. Because I don't know if this is giving me what I want it to give. And then I can't really see what you guys are seeing because of you finding are so small. Ugh. Okay. Hold on. All right, you guys, so I finally pulled it together because the side part was not doing it for me at all. So yeah, this is the finished look. My top is from Pretty Little Thing. My pants is from Fashion Nova. Y'all will see an outfit picture on Instagram. So if you aren't following me on Instagram, make sure you're following me. Like the picture if you like it or just like it anyways, because you love me. But yeah. That is it for this makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so happy that I got to sit down and just, you know, get back to my roots and talk to you guys a little bit. Um, yeah, this was good. So I really hope you guys like this video. I really hope you guys like my I woke up like this makeup tutorial or like a light and airy makeup look because honestly, 
who's wearing makeup <laughs> i'm playing and thank you guys so much for coming back to watch another one of my videos even through my inconsistency just everything thank y'all for rocking with me and i will see you guys in my next video which i will be placing on the screen so if you haven't watched it go ahead and watch it subscribe i'll probably put my face right here or maybe right here yeah i'll probably put it right here video right here so yeah do those two things for me and i will see you guys in my next video